Bass River is one of the largest estuaries on Cape Cod. At seven miles long, it curves through Dennis and Yarmouth from Nantucket Sound to Mill Pond. It's crucial to Cape Cod for its use as a recreational spot, a waterway for fish, and its resiliency to storm surges. Protecting such a body of water is no small feat, but for one group, they have taken on the task for the past three years. Friends of Bass River was formed um, about three years ago now by a concerned group of uh, residents of Bass River, people who both lived here year-round and were summer people, um, who realized that the Cape has an amazing group of people who are water keepers. Uh, we have the Friends of Pleasant Bay, we have three bays, we have the Barnstable Water Coalition, but we didn't have anyone looking out for Bass River. And the tricky part about Bass River is that um, it borders two towns, the town of Yarmouth and the town of Dennis. So our role was really to be a go-between to represent the river itself um, for, the, for the health of the river, essentially. We are a, a nonprofit organization that relies on the support of our community to help us uh, continue our, our, our efforts to improve the water quality in, in Bass River and just environmentally represent the river uh, in the community, which I think is really critical to have a voice for Bass River. Due to undersized culverts in Bass River's Crab Creek and Mill Pond, there are high levels of nitrogen and dissolved oxygen, causing erosion, odor, reduced fish passage, and harm to the aquatic wildlife. Friends of Bass River recently received a Southeast New England program grant, which will allow them to study and improve the water quality in Mill Pond between the two culverts and to restore the surrounding cranberry bogs back to wetlands. We established uh, a number of very exciting projects that we thought could impact the health of the river for, for decades, essentially. And this grant is providing us funds to do a comprehensive study of a 52.7 acre area that was retired cranberry bogs we're hoping to uh, return them to the historic wetlands because they're excellent sponges for carbon and nitrogen and will naturally clean the water in the uh, upper Bass River area. In addition to the culvert and cranberry bog restoration project, Friends of Bass River works to preserve the water through outreach in local high schools, education, and maintenance. Um, Carl Dupuy, the uh, teacher of ecology at DY High School, has a group of kids um, that he brings to the river uh, in the springtime when the weather's good. And it's a great day for them to get out, learn about the area around them. And we're honestly hoping that these kids, as they get older um, and hopefully return to the Cape and have their own families, um, will think about the river and think about the health of the river. And um, we are trying actively to do all of those things by working with, um, working with the DY kids uh, we have a, another testing, more expansive testing program in the summer uh, with both adults and children. Uh, we're collaborating uh, with the town of Yarmouth. We're hopefully be collaborating with the towns of Dennis, uh, the state of Massachusetts, the um, Department of Restoration. You know, one of our, our very successful projects this year was the removal of 1.77 tons. That's tons of debris from the shore of the, the river. Uh, there had been some um, some floats that had been left there for seven or eight years and working in conjunction with Lemco Marine and the town of Yarmouth, uh, we were able to remove these, these pieces from the shoreline and deposit them in the uh, Yarmouth landfill. Um, and obviously our goal is to preserve this area and to make it accessible for people to see a part of, of Bass River and to understand how important it is. Um, to the health of the Cape as a whole. If you would like more information, visit friendsofbassriver.org. For Cape Media News, I'm Emily Tellick.